hello viewers in today's class we are going to uh, take up one important problem from uh, permutations and combinations so here uh, the problem which are uh, which uh, we are going to take up is to find the total number of uh, chords which can be drawn in a circle when the number of points on the circumference of the circle are given to us right so let us take a circle right suppose this is a circle and uh, suppose uh, um, three points are given uh, on the circumference of this circle right suppose this is point a this is point b and say this is point c and uh, we have to find the total number of chords which can be drawn uh, through these uh, three points right so uh, by simple uh, observation uh, we see that uh, we can draw uh, here uh, three chords right so the first one is a b then we have b c and then we have uh, c a or a c right so when we have uh, three points uh, given on the circumference of a circle uh, then we can write or we can draw uh, three chords right okay so now uh, suppose we have uh, four points on the circumference of the circle now here we have four points suppose this is a this is b uh, say this is c and this is d and uh, here we have uh, four points a b c and d and we have to find the total number of chords which can be uh, drawn right so let us uh, draw the chords uh, by simple observation so the first one is a b then we have uh, b c then we have c d and then we have uh, d a and uh, two more chords can be uh, obtained um, by joining uh, a and c uh, the diagonals and here we have b and d right so when we have uh, four points uh, then we can have uh, six chords right so we can uh, see here that in the first situation uh, when the number of uh, points are three we have three chords and when in the situation two we have four points and the total number of chords are six right okay now here our aim is to uh, uh, find a formula uh, for the total number of chords uh, when there are n points uh, given on the circumference of a circle now before deriving uh, the general formula uh, let us uh, once again uh, look at these uh, two situations right in the first situation we have three points and three chords now uh, let us uh, uh, look at this situation in terms of uh, uh, combinations now here we have uh, uh, three points and uh, uh, a, uh, to form a chord to form a chord uh, we require uh, two points right so a chord uh, uh, bc has two end points right so when we have uh, uh, three points on the circumference of a circle we have three chords so it means uh, we have three objects and uh, we have to select uh, two objects out of uh, three objects right so uh, here we have three points and in order to get a chord uh, we require two points so the problem turns out to be uh, uh, selecting uh, two objects uh, from uh, 
three objects. Now let us apply the same reasoning to situation two. So here we have uh, four points. It means we are given four objects, right? Okay. And to form a chord, we require two points. So it means out of four objects, we have to select two objects, right? Okay. So now we know that uh, from uh, permutations and combinations, the formula for NCR is N factorial over R factorial N minus R factorial, right? Now what is 3C2? So 3C2 is 3 factorial over 2 factorial and 3 minus 2 factorial and here we have 3 factorial is 6, this is 2 and this is 1. So we have uh, 3, right? And this is the same result. So we have the number of chords is equal to uh, 3 when we have uh, 3 points on the circumference of the circle, right? Uh, similar is the case with 4C2 and 4C2 is equal to uh, 4 factorial over 2 factorial and 4 minus 2 uh, factorial, right? Now 4 factorial is 24, 2 factorial is 2, 4 minus 2 is 2 factorial which is 2 simply. So this is 24 over 4 that is 6 and here we have got the same result as 6 chords, right? Okay, so now uh, we have arrived uh, uh, at a conclusion that when we have uh, 3 points on the circumference, then we have 3 chords. When we have 4 points, we have uh, 6 chords, right? So this situation is similar to selecting two objects out of three in this case and selecting two objects out of four objects. So here we have C. So here the number which appears here is the total number of points, right? Total number of points on the circumference of the circle, right? And here we have uh, two. Right? So here we will always have 2 because uh, to form a chord we require uh, 2 points. Right? So now we can generalize this. So if we have n points, if we have n points on the circumference of a circle, then the total number of chords, the total number of chords are equal to nc2 right and nc2 can be written as n factorial over 2 factorial times n minus 2 factorial right now viewers uh, let us take a problem uh, based on this formula right so here we have to find the total number of chords when there are 20 points uh, given on the circumference of a circle, right? So suppose here we have a circle and uh, suppose we have here uh, 20 points, right? So we have 20 points. Now uh, we have to find the total number of uh, chords drawn, right? So here uh, we are given uh, the value of n as 20 and to form a chord we require two points. So it means the total number of chords uh, would be NC2, which is in this case uh, 20C2. Uh, and 20C2 can be written as 20 factorial over 2 factorial and 20 minus uh, 2 factorial. So this is uh, 20 factorial over 2 factorial, 20 minus 2 is 18 factorial. Now 20 factorial can be written as 20 times 19 times 18 factorial and here we have uh, 2 factorial is simply 2 and here we have 18 factorial. 
so now 18 factorial and 18 factorial get cancelled and uh, we are left with 20 times 19 over 2 and this is 2 tens are so we have 190 right so it means uh, we can draw uh, 190 chords uh, when the total number of uh, points given on the circumference of the circle are 20. Now similarly uh, let us take one more problem right so here uh, we take the value of n as 6 right so 6 points are given on the circumference of a uh, circle right suppose uh, we have here a then we have b here we have c then we have d then we have e and here we have f right so we have a hexagon here and we have to find uh, the total number of chords right so we'll apply the same formula so the total number of chords would be nc2 so here we have 6c2 right so this is 6 factorial over 2 factorial times 6 minus 2 factorial and we have 6 factorial divided by 2 factorial 6 minus 2 is 4 factorial right and this is 6 times 5 times 5 4 factorial divided by 2 factorial is 2 and here we have factorial 4 so this and this get cancelled this is 30 over 2 so this is uh, 15 right so the total number of chords which can be drawn uh, in a circle uh, having uh, six points on the circumference of the circle right